See Destiny Productions presents Power to Win with Dr. Valerie Daniels Carter. Expect a powerful half-hour broadcast that allows you to engage from the business world to the spiritual world to be inspired and to be informed. Empowering. Enlightening. Mentoring. Enriching. Like us on Facebook and follow us on YouTube and Instagram. Remember, you have the power to win with Dr. Valerie Daniels Carter. Just back then, it was just the dream to be able to be able to do this. When your kids, your entire life is all based on that. Like wanting to be here in these moments, be able to fight for a championship, truly have a chance and making it. And I know Chris Paul loves watching film. I would suggest not watching. It's not complicated. Think to yourself, I've got to be better. I've got to take care of the basketball, and I've got to take the pressure off of Booker to be a solo act. Chance of Bucks in six. have made the playoffs seven of the last 10 seasons and a majority of those appearances have come under new ownership that took over in 2014. Rebecca Clough goes in depth tonight to introduce us to one woman who went from a north side kid to become the only single black woman to own part of the team. The journey of a winner. I want to talk to you because I can relate to what's going on tonight because not only am I a minority owner of the Milwaukee Bucks, but I've been engaged in sports all of my life. And I know what it takes in order to achieve and to win and to ascend to new horizons. And sometimes in life, you may not understand all of the seasons of your life. You may not understand why you are going through what you're going through in order to get to where you need to be. But just understand, there's a plan that's designed for you and it has your name on it and no one else can have it except for you. But there's certain things that you're going to have to do in order to achieve it. Now, take a moment and like and tag, tag, uh, share and tag this session of Power to Win. Go to my website at www.ValerieDanielsCarter.com and look at our merchandise tab and support us because the items on our merchandise tab help us as we continue to educate, motivate, and uh, give opportunity for others. Again, my website is www.ValerieDanielsCarter.com. I invite you to go there and be a part of the Power to Win sessions. We have previous sessions that empower leaders, that motivate you even during this season of pandemic. I wrote a book called From Pandemic to Promise. And really what we're looking and what we're doing right now is we're navigating through where we need to go in order to obtain the promise. Oh wow, that was so exciting and so wonderful to me. How do we obtain the promise? Well, you have to first speak over yourself because no one can tell you that you are a winner if you feel defeated. But if you believe inside of you that I've got the power to win and I have the capacity to do and I'm able to navigate and manage through the things that will confront me in order for me to be able to achieve the things that I need to achieve you can do it. Let's just talk about the Milwaukee Bucks for a moment. Oh, now you look at them in their glory. But let's talk about back in the late 60s, around 1968, when they first started. And they had a pretty good team back there. You all remember Lou Alcindor. You all remember Oscar Robinson and Dandridge and some of the greats. They started out pretty good. 
But then they had to go through some transitions in order to get to where they are today. And I want to talk to you. As long as you understand, in order for me to ascend to new horizons, in order for me to be who I am ultimately designed to be, that God has created me, he created you with purpose. He says, I know the thoughts that I have toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of good and not evil to bring you to an expected end. And yes, all of us have an expected end. But when the team had to go through seasons of transition and various ownership changes, there were some naysayers that said it could never happen. There were some naysayers that said it would never be. But today, in uh, where are we, 2021? 2021, July, Tuesday night, we will be experiencing a team of what I call winners. And I'm going to tell you one of the reasons why I believe these guys have already won in my book. Not only are they very skillful at what they do, not only are they very intentional in what they do, not only do they get along with one another and they enjoy each other's company, not only do they have passion and they express it as they're on this court, the most important thing to me, besides their skill and their ability, is their, um, and I'll call it this, their willingness to network and to be responsible individuals within our community. These gentlemen that you see on this court tonight, and you can watch the game after Power to Win because Power to Win comes on at 7, the game comes on at 8 Central Standard Time, so you'll have time to watch me encourage you and then turn to the game. But listen, this is what I appreciate about this team of gentlemen, and I call them just that, a team of gentlemen, because there are giants that are great in certain areas of their life, but they don't uh, possess or have the complete package. They may be a great ball player, but they sometimes are the meanest person you ever could meet. They're rude, they're impolite, they don't take time with our young people. But this team, these guys, these great gentlemen in the, uh, that are part of the Milwaukee Bucks, they're great on court, but they're great off court. They take time to give back to the community. They represent a standard of excellence within our community of young people. They're respected by their peers. They have what I call an instinctive ability to be very, I'll say it, I'll say it, I'll say it, to be very uh, great in what they're doing on the court but they're even more phenomenal with what they do off the court. Their commitment to philanthropy, their commitment to representing and understanding that they have to have a public reputation just like they have to have a private reputation. They take on ownership when it comes to understanding leadership is through accountability. Leadership is through responsibility. And if I lead on the court, I've got to be man enough to lead off the court. And that's my message to all of us tonight. Yes, when I think about how we went through, and I call it this, the uh, trouble or turmoil of bubbleization last year, there were those that doubted where we would end up. I never doubted. Bubbleization is the past, and sometimes you have to learn how to leave certain things in the past. They left it in Orlando, and they brought a spirit of winning to Milwaukee. Yes, they did have to restructure. They did have to find and go look at some of my previous tapes when I talk about alternative operating strategies. AOS, and you'll hear me say it often, alternative operating strategies. They did have to rebuild in certain areas. They did have to execute 
certain plays in order to ensure the best of each player comes out of each player. But they were willing to do what it took during the off season. So when the season to win came, they were prepared, they were equipped, and they were ready. This is what I tell you guys on Tuesday nights. You not only have to be prepared, you not only have to be equipped, but you have to be ready when your number is called, when your business opportunity opens up to you. You can't be getting ready for opportunity. When opportunity knocks on the door, you have to be positioned to receive it. What am I saying? Dr. Carter, what are you saying to us? Always position yourself for success. What does that look like? You got to look the part. Wow. I guarantee you, if tonight the Milwaukee Bucks came to the court and every player had on a different uniform, they put them out. Why? Because they don't look like where they're going. Oh my God, that is so powerful. I know many of you young people, let me talk to some of our young people. You think I don't have to look like where I'm going. You need to look like where you're going if you want that door to be open. I uh, took a moment and, and, and I talked to some young adults earlier this week and I told them about the responsibility that not only do they have to look professional, but they have that responsibility for the generations that will come behind them. Now, it doesn't always mean that you have to look like you're in a suit and tie. You just need to look appropriate for the occasion. I think I look pretty appropriate for this occasion, uh, sitting in the finals, ready to, you know, uh, uh, see a phenomenal game. I got my shirt on that was designed by some in, by a woman that felt like she wanted me to inspire you. So she created this shirt for me and I think it looks pretty good, don't you? Look at every part of it. No, but it is designed to create in me a sense of who I am as it relates to who I'm with. Wow, a sense to understand who I am based on who I have relationship with. You need to know who you are in relationship with and what it requires of you to then be able to navigate and to achieve. The journey of a winner is not always going to be on high. There will be some highs, there will be some midpoints, there will be some lows and there will be some lows, lows, lows. You will go through seasons to where you sometimes may not even understand why you're going through what you're going through. But the passion and the energy and the intentionality that you have to continue to speak to yourself because it is a mental battle. It's not that you don't have all the necessary skills. Sometimes we might be a little light on money, but it's not that you don't have all the necessary skills or tools in order to do the job. Sometimes you have to tell yourself, I'm bigger than this. I'm greater than this problem. I'm stronger than this trial. I have the ability to do what God says I have the ability to do. And let me share something with you. Sometimes you're stretched. Sometimes you're pulled. And you sometimes can be, as I shared with you, or I will share with you in a few weeks, sometimes you can seemingly be overwhelmed. You need to take a moment and listen to that broadcast that's coming up. Can a leader be overwhelmed? Sometimes you will experience seasons of withdrawal where you don't really want to be engaged or involved because of maybe personal things that are going on in your life. Maybe you've lost a loved one. Maybe you lost your job. Maybe someone close to you has rejected you. 
Maybe you've gone through a season where it appears that those that are closest to you are hurting you the most. Yes, that is natural to go through various seasons and times of your life. Maybe your child has experienced trauma in their life. Maybe you've got a bad report from the doctor. But there's a word that I want to leave with you. It says this, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed beg bread. There may be times where you may be cast down, but understand you're not forgotten. There may be times where you may struggle, and even during this final series, here's, here's what I'm talking about, the journey of a winner. The buck started out losing their first two games, and some counted them out because they said they had lost the first two. But that was just number one and number two. What that naysayer or negative person didn't see was games three, four, and five. And that's what you've got to see. You have to see what somebody else cannot see in you. You have to see game three. You have to see game four. You have to see game five. And tonight, you'll experience game six because it's a journey of a team that did not give in because they did not experience success the first two times around they said we're going to keep on walking down this path we're going to keep on moving down this journey we're not going to allow defeat to stop us defeat is just a pause in where we're going they said, but we've got another stretch that we can run. And that's what I'm telling you tonight. You have another stretch run. So stretch out. Be strong. Hold on. Don't, any, don't let anyone tell you that you cannot be what God has destined for you. You are a winner. And you do have the power to win. Again. And again, you are a champion. And whether or not you recognize it or not, there are eyes and other individuals that are depending on you to win. The other individuals that are hoping the best for you. So as they uh, begin to enter on the court and you are in front of your television, your YouTube, you're in front of social media, even if you're at the game. I want you to do what Giannis told us to do. Scream as loud as you can. Let them hear you from the rafters of California. Let them hear you from the mountains of the Rockies. Let them hear you from the Empire State Building in New York. And yes, let them hear you in the arena here in Milwaukee. And don't forget about our district of cheerleading fans, 25,000 strong, that will be outside cheering and hoping and praying, yes, praying, that there will be success. And I want to let you know there already is success. It's time to really understand that the journey of a winner does have a pathway of curves. And each curve takes a turn. And sometimes you have to internalize within yourself and say, this turn is for me. Tonight I'm letting you know that this turn is for you. Because why? Dr. Carter said, you have the power to win because now we're starting to walk in our place of destiny starting to move in our place of power starting to execute and live in the promise that was created for you so business leaders don't give up now ministry leaders don't stop now it's time to return and recapture and regain 
everything the canker worm has stolen from you. It's restoring time. Because yes, we're on this journey. And we're walking this journey together. But we're going to come out victorious. Won't you take a moment and close in prayer with me as I close this session of Power to Win. Father, thank you because you've given us the power to win. You've given us the ability and the skill. And all we have to do is the work. You said faith without work is dead. So we're prepared to work to achieve that that you have for us. Now bless these your listeners is my prayer. In Jesus name, amen. Again, I invite you to go to my website, www.ValerieDanielsCarter.com. That's www. I always forget that dot. Don't you guys forget that dot. www.ValerieDanielsCarter.com. And listen to some of our previous sessions. Go to our merchandise tab. Take a moment and support us through that initiative because that helps us to help individuals both here and abroad. Take a moment to listen to some of our previous broadcasts and share it with others. We're in the process of putting together a compilation of series for leaders and I want you to be a part of that when we release it. Thank you so much. It's been my joy to share with you in this session of Power to Win. And all I can say tonight is go Bucks, go. I am pushing and cheering for you that destiny will be fulfilled. God bless you and have a good evening. Instagram. We look forward to seeing you next week. Remember, you have the power to win with Dr. Valerie.